to fling some spells. The Weep Wild and Ghost Seed. Soul energy weighs heavily in the air. <sighs> you have reached the dankness. I thought something called the dankness would be, I don't know, danker? Okay, fine. Just then, all the trees die. And then mushrooms grow out of the rotting corpses. Now it's Meg's dank. You happy? Well, just how dank are we talking? I need a dank ranking. You gotta rank the dank. If I'm being frank, you gotta rank the dank. Oh, you need me to crank out a dank rank? Well, the Franks would say... Crank out a dank That's Never have I seen a danker hive of muck and fungus. There's a chill in the air! Loading shells. Somewhere out there, there are foes to conquer and secrets to unlock. and reflect. Say that after Blast Hamath, God of Dragons, fell in love with the powder keg, he 
lay a single egg, which was fortunate to the Holy Spell That romance sounds weird at first, but if the legends are true, it's a stressed egg. Patience, friends. Your time is soon. Rock dagger! <laughs> you should see the look on what you have to do, chick. Now we're cooking! wicked awful virus running roughshod on us. We're on the brink of extinction and need some kind of heroic type to help us out. If that's you, Hoss, come on down to our refugee and speak to my wife, Queen. Water wench, I seek the holy spell made of legend. Tell me everything. There? Come up now? Ah, oh, look, I'm not talking to anyone while my damn goblin neighbors are making a racket with that drumming. Oh, oh, so our path is clear. We must kill the drummers. Only then will the lake lady yeah. hear our pleas. That is quite the violent. Let us see if reasoning with them works first, yes? Silence, you fumble-fingered drum uppers! Your thunderous thumping is disturbing the Lady of the Lake! What the? Think you're going to like our music? Let you the Lady of... All right, well, you've chosen death. Quiet, so I can only assume those goblins have been dealt with. Come on 
All right, listen up. Here's the deal. There's a weird little creature in the dankness who's got a need for teeth. A lot of teeth. And since you're so good at knocking the crap out of things, I think it's right up your alley, Tomodachi. You gotta talk to that bone-headed bozo, Mervin. But he'll only talk to you if you wield the gun sword extra caliber. Be warned, though. It's guarded by Mervin's lackey, Lance. It ain't a challenge for the frail of heart. Or arm. Frail of arm? Look, lady, I've got more strength than my little servo motor than you've got in your entire everything. In fact, I bet even my weak, scrawny, malnourished squire can take you on. Oh, is that so? Well, let's go then, tough guy. Squire, to arms! Strike her down! Rock dagger! Cross this bridge. Grant me passage, and we need not drink of the cup of carnage. None this gnarly bridge shall pass, who do not kick it major ass! If ye would cross this righteous gap, you first must win king of the cap! Bro! You gotta knock me off the mushroom cap if you want to get over the bridge, bro! Get across! You gotta beat the boss! <laughs> oh, it's time to bring out the big guns! Try a slam attack on the way down! Huh? That'll shut that Lance guy up!
Nice try, bro! But you'll have to do better than that! <laughs> Nobody's better at King of the Cap than Lance! <laughs> Six Slam Jam, bro! What the? That piss pot totally cheated! Let's kick their piss in! Okay! Do me proud, Squire! I'll join you shortly! Come on, boy! Don't get dribbler what we're made of! <laughs> Falling ice! Take this pre-recorded summons and bring him to me for 
king of this mortal realm, for I bear a summons only you may answer. You dare to enter my court and issue a summons to me, King Archer, master of this realm and lord of these wooded halls? Very well. Whatsoever your quest may be, I accept. But we are in court, so I would hear your summons before departing. We must observe the formalities here. I, Sir Claptrap, hereby summon King Archie, first of his dumb name. For though his weak, noodly arms pale in comparison to mine arms of steel, I need him to get off his pampered butt to pull extra caliber out of this rock so he can give it to me. And summons! Uh, of course. I've heard enough! Kill them! <laughs> Man, I hate kings! Worst! I could go on a great life about all the ways I hate them! In that, I win! Reason one! We take everything personally! Wait, is this thing still on? Eh, probably not. Anyway, kings are always a bunch of thin skin fighters who can't take criticism. Reason numero two! They're pushing! The last time the king said, please, it's always the king commands you to do this, or by order of the king, that. Rude. Reason the third. This looks really just about King Archie, but have you ever noticed else weird? Like, all the time? Next time you're around him, lean in real close. Take a of this. Don't see what I mean. Reason four. They get unreasonably annoyed when you lean in deep and take a subtle sniff. What's the point of being a king? Oh. Reason five. Being a king was like so much fun. But they never let anyone else wear the crown or sit on the throne. I would be a great king. Probably the best. I think hurting my feelings punishable by death and I'm in in my honor every day. Everyone would be happy all the time. But you know, you want me to boil blood, Sir Black Trap? Thinking cool and his court is unbecoming, Sir Black Trap? You're not even a noble. Stop calling yourself Sir, Sir Black Trap. One day, you all. Anywho, that's all the reasons I can think of. For now. What do you think, Squire? Oh, right. I don't have a suit. I should get one. But one that'll make me look valiant by comparison. You got a beauty and only. And you gotta be jumping from the back plus one hammer. Well, great. The king is dead. Does that mean you're king? Probably not. Anywho, the legend says we just need a hand, so grab what's left of the king and come on back. Adventure! Bring us that back so we can get this dumb sword already!
opened the ancient and storied gates of Mervyn's domain. Let's see. These elvish symbols say, speak, friend, and enter. Ooh, ooh, idea! Squire, what's the elvish word for friend? I know all the words I need to vex my foes in a hundred tongues. Friend is not one of them. Yeah, fine. Mervyn, his I, Sir Claptrap, mightiest of heroes. I come bearing extra caliber. So open up. Enter. That worked? Huh. Now that's more like it. Finally, the respect I deserve. Another seeking the holy spell nade, eh? If you can best my apprentices, you will prove you are deserving of its power. Squire, defend your master! I do you! Unworthy of the holy spell name. You are strong, yes, but only one possessed of true wisdom is fit to wield its great and terrible power. You must solve my puzzle or perish. If you would hold destruction in thy hand, you must see through trickery to tell friend from a foe. Approach the real Mervyn, and the holy spell Nade is yours. Oh, easy! I know this one! Pick that one standing over there! Just look at him standing all smug! He's definitely hiding something! What? Uh, oh. back! Most tenacious. No matter, I suppose if you can get it right on the second try, that's not so terrible. And I'll still let you have the holy spell made. But no cheating. Of course, what I meant was that guy over there! He's the one! I can feel it in my chassis! and you still got it wrong. It's clear you're not fit to wield the awesome power of the holy spell made. Now you must pay the price for your failure. Ready to place the spells! 
You've proven your merit through valor, cunning, and fortitude. Therefore, I can think of no one more suited to wield the holy spell name than you, Squire. Also, that one's got garbage stats and doesn't really go with my build, so I'm just gonna kill Mervyn a bunch later until I get a good one. But you have fun with that. <laughs>